Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a 2023 Ram 2500 Power Wagon, and this is a better buy and a better truck over the trimmer. However, there's just one thing holding it back from greatness. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. If you are in the market, this truck is available, and they actually have some Rebels available too. Let's get into the video. Now this is gonna be the winner sticker for the Ram we're gonna be reviewing today. So this is a spec of it. And then this is the base price for the power wagon. And some of the standard equipment is listed there. And here's all the options, starting down below. And at the very top, this one does have that level one equipment group for $5,615, which is the most expensive option. Sunroof, dual alternators, and then this one does have the upfitter electronic module. Destination came in at $1895 with a total price of $80,755. Now for 2023, the front end is pretty similar to the 2022s, with the exception of the sport performance hood. Like this hood is absolutely fire. I love this hood. Now it is not functional here. However, I do believe that these heat extractors are functional and it does give it a really mean look. And I think that it just really completes the power wagon 100%. I love the vertical slots in the grill. Like this is absolutely just the best looking off-roader on the market. Worn winch down below, it's gonna have a synthetic cable. Parking sensors, tow hooks, has everything. And of course it has that ground clearance that you need too. They do make this uh, front diffuser, whatever you wanna call it, air dam, a little bit smaller. And you can kind of see it has like a nice design cue in the center of it too. Now off to the side, you do have a almost 33 inch tire. And these are the Goodyear Wrangler dirt tracks. And these are the 285-70-17. And then here's some of the capacities, 3,195 pounds per tire, 65 PSI. And then here's the suspension right here. Solid front axle, Bilstein shocks. And up front, you do have sway bar disconnect too. And it does have a front locker too. And check out the fender flares. Also new for 2023 are these mirrors. I will go over these in a second. You do have a light, it's like an axle light here. Turn signal and unfortunately it's all finished in plastic. I would like for them to maybe add a little bit of color to that just to maybe break up some of that plastic. But down below, you do have that blackout with the Ram badge right there. And painted door handles with smart key system. And then check out your power wagon badge on the side. I'm not a huge graphics fan, but I don't mind the way this truck looks. It has a really nice setup here. And then here's the back wheels and tires. Coil suspension out back. And there's also a locker and a 410 on this axle. Parking sensors, and you don't normally see these often, but this one does have the best step. You have that blackout look on the tail lights. And then check out the power wagon spilt out out back. Backup camera. And you do have a light down below for your conventional hitch, which is a class five. Four and seven pin. LED lights for the license plate. Assisted tailgate. You have lights. Now this one does not have the upgraded high mount, which I strongly recommend if you're ordering your truck. It should kind of come standard at this price point, right? And let's go ahead and pop the hood. So under the hood is the 6.4 Hemi. Ram's been using this engine for a long time and they haven't done any updates to it in a while. The last time they did an update was back in 2019 when they put the eight speed transmission behind this engine. And it was really the best thing they ever did because I think that this powertrain is the perfect setup. It is, however, down on horsepower and torque compared to Ford's 7.3. So this has 410 horsepower, 429 pound-feet of torque, and like I said, made it to the 8 HP 75 made by ZF. One thing about this truck too is because it has these tires, if I have a chance, maybe I'll do a acceleration test to show you guys how it does. And maybe I'll put it up against a Rebel that has the 20 inch wheels. As far as the interior goes, there's not much difference, but I do like the trim piece that they have here. They have like this diesel gray and most of it's pretty much blacked out. Soft touch right here. 
Now this trim piece looks new, but everything else looks like a carryover. Seat memories, and here's some of the controls for the mirrors. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light so you guys can see these real quickly. So this light here, if you do back up a trailer, this is gonna help with that. And then here's that accent light on the front. Really bright too, by the way. Now, the next thing I'll show you is these mirrors now have tow mode. So now you can push the mirrors out and it does it on both sides. And you can kind of fine tune it the way you want it, which is nice. They had this for 2019 as well. You can actually control the convex with power. So yeah, these are the best mirrors in the segment. The mirrors are also both heated. And then this is how I was kind of controlling that too. They also power forward. I don't know if I mentioned that. But you do have pedal adjustments down below. And this only tilts. It does not telescope for the steering wheel. Lighting controls. And then here's the controls for the screen here. And then for the lighting inside the truck. Now something to consider. Leather wrap steering wheel. And they did update these buttons too for 2023. Now let's go ahead and step in. Now this truck does not have running boards. And I don't know if you guys can tell on the outside. This truck is slightly higher compared to the other Rams. I believe it has a two inch lift. Door sounds good. Digital gaze cluster is super nice. I love that they gave the truck that. Let's go ahead and just put it in accessory mode so you guys can see. You see some of the animations there. Now here are the highlights. One thing I love about this system is how they set everything up. So this is the vehicle info. They put your MPGs inside of here. Also they put your gauges. Some more gauges there. Tire pressure. Your engine idle and back to your uh, MPG. Now, something else that you'll see, this truck does have navigation and you have the option to have navigation in the screen as well. Love that they did that. And it does give you that um, security when you're going down the road, you don't have to keep looking down. You can pretty much see it right in front of you. Now, as I mentioned, front and rear lockers and you also have the rear if you just need to lock that one. Downhill assist, sway bar disconnect, and I love the mechanical shifter for the full wheel drive system. I prefer this over the buttons. Some people probably prefer the buttons, but I do like the mechanical shifter. But you can only get that with the six passenger. But decent storage in here. USBs are right there. You have four more down below, type A and type C's. Power plug right there. And a little bit of storage down below, like coin holders, things like that. And then a little bit right there. Now off to the side, if you do lift this up, Again, you have that six passenger and then a little bit more storage down below. Now, as far as the 12 inch display goes, there's not a lot of camera views because this does not have the 360 camera, but it is available. But you do have a camera out back and you can zoom in to the conventional hitch if you need to line up to your coupler. Now, something else that might be important is the off-road pages. And one thing I like is they do give you the gauges here too. So if you want to put your navigation there and just have a better view of those gauges, that's an option now. Pitch and rolls right there and it shows you guys a few things here. Shows you what gear you're in. And navigation can be done in full screen. Nothing new really here. And then you have your widget so you can pretty much set this up how you like. Whatever you want to see, Ram lets you do that. There's a power plug up top. And then check out the stitching on this dash. Now this is like a vinyl material and let's go ahead and jump over to the passenger side so here's a power wagon badge on the passenger side a little bit of stitching now they do provide this like little rubber piece here inside of this compartment which is nice because things will rattle around there's a little bit of plastic in here so this should help with that they do illuminate it too now down below is your glove box now I did notice something earlier you see this they did not put a light here. Like, come on, Ram. You guys are being way too cheap for me. And I don't know why they took that away, but they did. But you probably can get the wire harness for that and add that if you like. Perforated leather seats. Power wagon badge on the side. And you can tilt the 
headrests. These are heated and ventilated seats with a heated steering wheel. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. And sunroof. And here are the controls for that. Some of the lighting and sunglass holder. Out back, they do provide these little storage cubbies. 60-40 bench. And you do have like a flat floor surface that you can create down below here. There is a subwoofer down here too, so it does take away some of your storage. And then here's a door card for this side. Center armrest is right there. And above, you have those hooks, sliding glass, which is power, headrest. And let's check out to see if these seats are heated on the outboard. So believe it or not, you have two USBs, those are type A's. Outboard heated seats, power plug right down below, and air vents. This is a six passenger truck. I'm very surprised they do that. That's good on RAM. I like that they give that to you. And another storage copy on this side. And let's go ahead and check out the numbers on the door here. So you guys can see the front gross axle weight rating is gonna be 4,750 pounds. The rear is gonna be 6,200 pounds. And this is actually higher than the diesels, but the growth fuel weight rating was actually reduced to 8,565 pounds. Now there's two factors to that that you have to consider. Number one, the tires. The tires don't have as much capacity as the other ones do that come on the regular HD three quarter tons. Another thing is suspension. So those two things are probably why they reduce the GVWR down to 8,565 from 10,000. And then here's the all-in payload capacity. It's gonna be 1,401 pounds. That's probably one of the highest payloads I've seen on a power wagon. And some of that's gonna be because it doesn't have the ram boxes and running boards, things like that. And of course, it doesn't have the center console, which does take away from your payload. But that's the only thing I think ram is really doing to hold the truck back is the payload capacity and the towing capacity because this truck has a towing capacity around 10,000 pounds and again it's probably because of the tires and the suspension but i hope you guys like the video special shout out to larry H. miller here in sandy utah if you are in the market be sure to reach out to these guys let them know you saw the video this truck is available nafu actually got the keys for me on this truck so be sure to reach out to him see you guys soon